Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lancelot, and Snail Games might be in a little bit of trouble. Let me explain. So first and foremost, I just want to set the record straight. I am no financial guru. I'm not 100% sure on any of this. I don't follow it too closely. This is all just speculation coming from somebody that truly loves the art games and something pertaining to the publisher of the game. So as everybody knows, Studio Wildcard is the developer, Snail Games is the publisher. With that being said, Snail Games is kind of in the hole to a company called Marbus, better known by us as Nitrado, the server hosting people, basically. So effectively what's happening, just a quick recap, not getting too deep into anything. Snail Games already owes Marbus 1.05 million dollars and they just requested to borrow another three million dollars to kind of help complete asa or arc survival ascendant there's nothing new companies do that all the time they borrow money they pay money back it is it's kind of the way of life right it's nothing crazy or unheard of before so that really shouldn't be too big of an issue my concern and i think most people's concern is there's a hard date set in this contract of october 31st and that date is just basically referring to how the money will eventually be paid back let me explain that a little bit so if arc survival ascendant is released by october 31st 2023 marbus will take 20 percent of monthly gross earnings and they will use that to pay back you know themselves until the repayment amount is paid in full if it is not however they will take 20 percent from arc survival evolved which is already kind of you know it's not making the most money anymore people are kind of pulling out of it it's not getting a lot of sales because they know the game is being sunset they know the game is going away the servers will be deactivated sure you can play it single player all you want i still believe but everybody knows very soon there will not be a lot of support or any support for that game so there's no point in spending money on it right now i think that is where most people's big concerns come in they think that and you know personally i sort of think that sale games will rush the release of arc survival ascendant to me this is kind of good kind of bad it's kind of bad in the sense that if the game is not ready if the product is not ready they're still going to push it out because they cannot afford to be trying to pay back money from arc survival evolved i just don't think that would work out very well for them and also they're gonna have to pay this back somehow so it makes more sense in my mind financially to push this game out get sales and use that to pay it back that's kind of the bad side now i want to be a little optimistic and look at the good side and kind of reference another game that sort of kind of did this if they release it and it's not ready all that means to me is in my mind if studio wildcard plays their cards correctly no pun intended everybody's already gonna know that snail games is the one that pushed for this so as long as studio wildcard stays very vocal with the community with us and they work together with the community to find the bugs to improve the game i think it has potential to be a very 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 good game still yes it will take a little bit longer but i think in the end we can get there and i kind of wanted to reference how battlefield did that with their community test environment whatever it was everybody really really enjoyed that i used to play battlefield a lot i still do occasionally but i used to really play that game a lot battlefield 4 specifically and when they did that community testing it felt really nice as a consumer as a fan of the game because i felt like i was on the front line of making change for the game and that game i did see get progressively and progressively and progressively better it just it happened the community really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and i think it helps the developers a lot so with that being said i know I know there's a lot of not so great information right now regarding asa and when it's coming out i'm glad we have a potential launch date and mind you i've been seeing a lot of stuff online that oh it's set in stone it's set in stone it's not technically set in stone october 31st holds no value aside from i don't think snail games will want to pay back from the dried up pool of arc survival evolved that's all that means there's nothing in concrete the game is coming out but it does look like it will i just kind of want to make that kind of clear because i do see a lot of comments on reddit right now twitter and whatnot saying oh we finally have a thing don't hold your breath just yet let's let's play it out and let's see how it goes but i also think everybody should take a step back and really look at the situation and the positives that might come from it yes asa might be a buggy hot mess when it comes out because snail games is going to push and push and push for studio wildcard to release it october 31st that is a big possibility. But again, if Studio Wildcard plays it correctly and works with the community, they have a huge, in my opinion, they have a huge opportunity to rebuild trust within the community. And I'm not saying Studio Wildcards is the one that lost the trust, but it is still ARC, right? They're the ones developing ARC. Sure, Snail Games is making a lot of bad calls right now, but their face is still on the product. And that's how you have to look at it, right? A lot of people are gonna see it that way. That's just the way it is. I think if they play their cards correctly here, they can build a lot of trust back with the community, get everybody back on board with ARC, because ARC is still a, an amazing game. It truly is. It still has a deep-rooted fan base, and we're not going 
going anywhere. A lot of us that have been playing ARK for a long time, there's people been playing years and years longer than me, right? I got to the game late and I still love the game. There's a lot of people that are going to stand by it no matter what, but Studio Wildcard will have the opportunity, in my opinion, to bring a level of trust back into the community even more so maybe than Ark Survival Evolved. Cause I remember originally when Ark Survival Evolved launched, it was it was still also kind of buggy. You know, it was it was a grand project with data technology sort of at the time, just to really throw a blanket statement over that right there. But it was still, you know, buggy a mess. It took a long time for them to get everything where it was. That's nothing new with games. A game of this scale of this project, it's, you know, you're bound to run into some issues. I really hope Studio Wildcard plays this correctly and they really bring the community in to working on improving the game if it does get forced out the door and it's not 100% ready by October 31st. The other thing I would like to say, and please somebody in the comments correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Ark Survival Ascendant is only launching with the island map. So it's not like we're going to have a slew of maps that aren't ready. We're just going to have one that may or may not be completely ready. I think that'll make it a lot easier for us to bug test and do all that good jazz and really get the game in a good state and then start porting more maps in. I think honestly, that's the ideal way to do it. I know it'll be a slow release. I know there have been issues with the whole cost of the game and how it's going to be bundled with arc 2 and then separate and more expensive and less expensive trust me i am very very aware that there has been a lot of controversy with this i just as a true arc fan speaking to the other true arc fans out there right take a step back take a breath and look at it for what it could be we have i personally have no reason to believe that studio wildcard would be trying to screw us over or would be wanting to destroy their game and their reputation i don't think that's what they would want i don't think that's what they're trying to do I think we have a really, really big opportunity ahead of us if everything is played correctly. With that being said, if I am missing any information, please drop it down in the comments. Leave me a link to an article or something I can read. You know, let me know what's going on, but if you have any sources you can leave with me so I can go and read it myself as well, please, please, please drop that down below. I'm very curious because again, I've not followed everything super, super closely. I'm not reading every single update from every single page. It's just not something I'm doing. It is a game I love. It is a game I follow, but only to a certain extent. I am getting more involved with it now because I'm starting to see a lot of this coming to light and you know, maybe October. It's starting to pique my interest more, but please, if I'm missing something, drop it down in the comments below. And also drop down in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know what your feelings are right now. Let me know your opinions. I know a lot of people have been kind of, for a lack of a better term, hurt by the arc situation. Situation. I'm very aware of that. I'm very aware we've all lost a little bit of trust. We've all got a, a, little, a couple of little trust issues going on right now. But just drop that down below. Let's have a conversation. Let's everybody hop in there and have a cordial adult conversation about what's going on. I'm very curious to see how y'all feel. I'm curious how many people kind of share my same idea that this has the potential to actually really improve the game. It's not something I've seen talked about on Reddit or YouTube just yet. And I know I'm a couple days late to this party. I'm very aware that this whole uh, 8K SEC filing came out, you know, I think at the beginning of August or something like that. I I know I'm a little late to the party, but I've still not seen this aspect spoken about really anywhere. And granted, I can't watch every YouTube video on this ever, so there probably is somebody out there talking about it, but I'm just curious as to what you guys think and all that good jazz. But again, to recap on everything, it looks like we may have an October 31st release that is not set in stone. It's just part of a repayment agreement. Keep that in mind. And also with the whole repayment thing, it's not uncommon for a company to borrow money from another company. It's not un uncommon for anything like that to happen. I will completely agree that Snail Games is making some very bad choices losing a lot of trust with us. So if they were to go out of business, like I've seen this kind of speculated in some comments in a, some Reddit post, if they were to go out of business and the rights to ARC were sold to somebody else, let me know down below who you think would be the best person to kind of take that over. Kind of curious what y'all think there. I don't think they will personally. And again, I'm no expert. It's just a feeling I have. I don't think they're, you know, getting rid of ARC anytime soon, but just kind of curious what y'all think. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, I do apologize. I'm pretty sure I have a gazelle wearing high heels that lives upstairs. So if you can hear that, I'm very, very sorry. Trying to record around it, but I can only do so much. And with that, it concludes my TED talk. It concludes my rant. Thank you everybody so much for sticking around. If you stuck to this point of the video, I know I kind of went off on a rant there. In my mind, it was going to be a little more structured, but you know, I just kind of, I want it to be more of a, a personal thing. I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of bullet pointed, very narrative driven kind of talks and reviews out there. Not everybody, not saying that at all, but a lot of them out there. I just kind of wanted to give my personal opinions because again, I'm not an expert. I haven't read all the literature. So it doesn't seem right of me to come at you and say this, this, that, and the other when I'm not 100% sure. But I can tell you how I feel as somebody who really loves the art games. So drop in the comments below. Let me know how y'all feel. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you kind of want to see more stuff like this, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you.
in the next one.